What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Source Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE Day 1 Predictions video. Now I'm doing this before the Go Home Smackdown and also I'm not too sure if the card is actually going to change based on the fact that apparently WWE, or oh, we've seen it on Raw, uh, have had a bit of a COVID outbreak recently and a lot of the people on this card have been in isolation. So the card may change, but if it does, as usual, any matches that are changed or any matches that are updated, I will update in the description and in the comment section down below. Uh, that's also any matches that are added as well. So say, for example, I'll upload this video today, a match gets added on SmackDown, I'll add it in the description and the comments for you to see my prediction there. Without further ado, let's get right into my day one predictions. Kicking off the day one card, we have Drew McIntyre versus Mad Cat Moss. There's not a lot for me to say about this one. Mad Cat Moss is going to get Claymore and pinned. One, two, three, Drew McIntyre for the win. Coming up next, we have a match that I'm strangely looking forward to that when this feud began, I didn't think I'd care about. Edge versus The Miz. Now, realistically, I kind of had an inkling and I kind of had an idea that I would come around on this match based on the fact that anything Edge does, I'm intrigued in because he's just that great of a performer. He can just get me interested in anything he does. He could wrestle a broom for an hour and I'd watch it. Uh, but anyway, Edge versus The Miz. I don't know if these two have crossed paths before. I don't know if they've had a one-on-one -on -one match before. I'm sure they probably faced off in some sort of match, whether it be a Rumble or a Money in the Bank or whatever. I don't know. Edge has been around for years. Miz has been around for years. And in that time period where Edge was retired, you know, Miz was around before that as well. So they, they've been around the WWE at the same time for a long time. And uh, yeah, they're going to face off one-on-one -on, -one on pay per view. I'm quite intrigued to see what happens, but I think the result will 100% be Edge walking away with the victory. Coming up next, we have the New Day versus the Usos for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. And oh my God, another New Day Usos match. I'm not angry. I enjoy it. I love this feud. Uh, I love this everlasting feud. They will fight forever. The New Day and the Usos been feuding since back in like 2017 and we're still going. But what do I think is going to happen here? Honestly, I don't know. I think it could go either way. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to go with the New Day to retain. The next match on the card is for the Raw Women's Championship. Becky Lynch, big time Bex, taking on Liv Morgan. Now, this feud has had me on the edge of my seat. I thought Liv Morgan won the title a couple of weeks back. She was this close but honestly I still don't think she's gonna do it I really don't you know I would love to see it I would love to see Liv Morgan beat Becky Lynch but honestly I don't think it's happening here I think she's gonna lose here by shenanigans or something something's gonna happen and then maybe Liv could go on to win the Rumble and we have this match at Wrestlemania and then she wins there I don't think they're gonna waste that here at day one on a B plus pay-per-view I think WWE know what they've got with Liv Morgan no, now they know how much the universe the WWE fans adore Liv Morgan and how much we want to see her succeed so I think they're gonna save it for Wrestlemania in my honest opinion I could be wrong but that's what I think is gonna happen so I am going with Becky Lynch to retain Coming up next, we have the match that I am probably looking forward to the most. The WWE Championship Fatal 4-Way. Champion Big E taking on Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley and Kevin Owens. Now guys, do you want to know what I think is going to happen? I think Big E is going to lose the WWE Championship. I think E is dropping the title here. And uh, hopefully I'm, you know... I. I I don't know how I feel. I don't know whether I want this or whether I don't, but Big E's championship reign so far, for me personally, it just hasn't been that great. Uh, I know it's nothing to do with him, it's to do with the booking, but I think it would be a nice change to have him drop the title and then challenge for it again. The babyface is always better chasing. I've got two people. I don't think Bobby Lashley's going to win. I think Kevin Owens could, but I'm actually predicting my favourite wrestler, Seth freaking Rollins, to walk away with the WWE Championship and hold the title heading into WrestleMania. Seth Rollins to win the WWE Championship. That's my prediction. It's quite out there as it's a fatal four-way. His chances of winning are only 25%, but we shall see. Either way, I've got Big E dropping the title to someone. If it has to be someone, Seth freaking Rollins. 
And finally, in the main event of WWE Day 1, we have the Universal Championship match. The champion, Roman Reigns, defending against Brock Lesnar for the second time this year. First defended at Crown Jewel, won by hitting him with the championship and capitalising on cheating. And uh, now it's a completely different story. You know, Reigns has fired Heyman. Is Heyman going to realign with Lesnar? We don't know, but... I still think Roman Reigns is going to win. I have said this for over a year in every single pay-per-view prediction every damn month. Never bet against the Tribal Chief. The Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, will still be walking away with the Universal Championship. I've got my Lesnar side plates on just because he's the challenger, but I think that Roman Reigns is retaining the Universal Championship. Do I think that... Heyman's going to get involved? Maybe. I mean, this whole thing could be a setup. Maybe Reigns firing Heyman was sort of trying to play mind games with Brock and they've been realigned this whole time. I don't know what's going to happen, but I think that Reigns will retain. So there you go, guys. That was my WWE Day 1 predictions video, the inaugural Day 1 pay-per-view. Now, unfortunately, I won't be watching the pay-per-view live. However, I will be setting an alarm very early the next morning to get up and give my reactions for the first time I watch the show. I'll watch it in full the next morning and do my reactions as normal as if I was watching it live. But anyway, let me know your Day 1 predictions in the comments section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Thoughts Wrestling. You guys have been awesome, and I will see you at Day 1. Like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye. Whoa!